this is Sadia from Product Site Manager and in this video I am going to show you how you can accurately generate a product site for Google Shopping. To do this, you need the plugin Product Site Manager for WooCommerce. So once you've installed and activated the plugin, you'll see the product site icon on the dashboard. See when I hover the mouse, I get these options. Now to generate a new fit, click on add new fit option. It will take you to this fit creation page. So firstly you need to give a fit title. Alright, now from this drop down menu you need to select the merchant where you want to promote your products on. So here I am selecting Google Shopping. So once you've selected, you will see the required attributes of Google Shopping will be listed below. As you can see, almost everything is already configured. You just need to assign the values to any unmapped attributes with the right product data. For example, there is manufacturer brand. It will be your brand name. So if you have any brand value say for your products in your store, you just need to simply choose this from the drop down menu. But if you are the sole manufacturer, choose the option Aesthetic and enter your company name here. Now let's check the Google product category attribute. Here you can see a default category mapper is already assigned to this attribute. Now to configure the category mapper, just click here and it will take you to this configuration page. Here you need to set the categories. As you can see that I have already done that but let me show you something. See if you type here your WooCommerce product categories, it will suggest you the categories that fall under the Google product categories. This way you can map your WooCommerce product categories with the Google product categories. So once you've done updating, just click on update and close you'll get back to the fit creation page at the bottom you see here these two options you can use them to add any new attribute or add any custom attribute to your feed template so once you map the values to the attributes your feed is almost ready now before publishing the feed let me show you the product filter and settings option when you go to the product filter option you'll get these filters you can use this filter to include or exclude any product to your feed template. You can also add feed rules or customize any filter if you need to. So once you're done with the filter and settings, it's time to publish the feed. For that, just click on the publish button and your feed will start generating. Now the feed generation depends on how much products you have. So once the loading is completed, your feed will be ready. See, you can now view the feed, download the feed or copy the feed link. Let's have a look. Now the next step is to upload your feed to Google Merchant Center. For that, you can manually upload your feed to Google Merchant Center or you can use our AutoSync with Google Merchant feature to submit your feed. So that's it for today. See you in the next video.